Hello, my name is Cheryl Cattell, and welcome to today's LinkedIn Minute. I'm so glad you joined. Today, we're going to talk about experience, the experience section of your profile. The first place that we see experience show up is right at the very top. And you'll notice that I have this gray silhouette building instead of a logo here. What happens for LinkedIn is they show the first experience on your profile, which is your current position. So let's go down and take a look at that position. All right, here's where the offending building silhouette is. Let me show you how to get rid of that. In this case, FAU is short for ah, Florida Atlantic University. Look how smart LinkedIn is. But let's say it was for something else. And so what I recommend you do is start typing. OK, Florida American University. All right, it's not there. But what I'm encouraging you to do is to play the LinkedIn lottery and start typing what it is you're looking for. And you would be surprised how many company logos are within LinkedIn now. Also, if you've typed in your company name before they had a company page on LinkedIn, you'll also see the offending gray building silhouette. So what I recommend you do is just come in here, delete what you have and start typing it again and see what's offered as options. All right, well, that's the first part, getting rid of that strange silhouette. The next thing I want to mention about your experience is that you always want to add at least a sentence or a paragraph with some keywords about that job. What is it that you offer? In my case, life coaching, career and business coaching, uh, looking for ways to manifest are things that I do. Also digital marketing and business experience. So what I'm encouraging you to do is if you just have the name of the company and your position, what I'd like you to do is change that and add a paragraph and always include keywords. All right. Well, I do want to say that, let's say, for example, you have a few jobs in your past. In my case, I didn't want to list them all because uh, I've been around a while. So what I did is I listed the most recent positions and then the ones that were back a ways, I added here. Whoops, I just want to see it. See more, not, not edit. What I did is I added a section to my about. And this is where I listed some of the positions I had maybe a little bit further back that do not appear on my experience section of LinkedIn. So this is one way to deal with lots of jobs in your career over a long span of time. And it's also a way not to lose some of the positions and industry experience. All right, well, that's it for today's LinkedIn Minute. Thanks for stopping by.